All right, what's going on, dudes, and welcome back to another vlog. Sorry for uh, being a day later than usual on this one. Been busy backing up some footage for Wild Animal D3, which is from tomorrow until Thursday. Um, E3, if you're not familiar, it stands for Electronics Entertainment Expo, and it's a, a big gaming trade show that takes place every June in LA. So fortunately for me, that means no major travel required to attend, which is always nice. Um, yeah, this year, rumor has it, and it would make sense that I guess there's gonna be a lot of uh, next-gen console stuff on display there, so I might get to try some of that out if the lines aren't too excessively long. Usually the lines are, are shorter at something like an E3 than they are at a PAX because it's more of a an industry event, so the attendance, like, per booth seems to be a, a little bit lower, um, but we'll see. There are still plenty of lines from from past experience. Um, I don't know if I'll be filming anything while I'm there, but at the very least I'll, I'll let you know if anything catches my attention or tweet about it or something like that. I'll, I don't know, recap it in the next vlog at least. Um, yeah, should be fun. More often than not, um, these trade shows end up just being a time to, to hang out with dudes who you don't see for most of the year because all the YouTube gaming folks are scattered about the, the country and or the globe, so uh, they all come together, or lots of them do for, for the trade shows. So uh, yeah, it's always fun, and there will be plenty of after-party things thrown by developers and publishers and whatnot, and hopefully I'll get to go to a few of those, and it should be magical. Anyway, just thought I'd let you know about that. Hopefully it will be an exciting time. Um, also, kind of kind of cool milestone I wanted to mention. This isn't this isn't the draw of my life video. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. It's probably gonna take a little longer than a normal video because I'm um, got planning to go into it, and then the actual drawing part is just gonna be so awful because I'm. <laughs> I can draw all right if I really like take my time and plan it out, but that would require like erasing and going back and stuff. And for all the draw of my life videos I've seen, it's just like you do a doodle, you don't erase as you're going, you just first try and then you speed it up. And anyway, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I've been like dreading starting that process to be completely honest because uh, I think that I will fail miserably at it, at least until I get used to it and in a groove or something like that. But anyway. Um, totally went off on a slight tangent there. Wanted to thank you guys for, for 4 million subscribers. I do certainly uh, appreciate it, and I hope the fact that I say thank you lots and lots doesn't sort of reduce the, the sincerity or the, the value of it. Um, yeah, no, I... It's amazing. And I could say it a, a million times, and I still couldn't fully convey the, uh, the sincerity and, and how much I I really mean it. So again, hopefully you're still enjoying the videos and stuff. <clears throat> Pardon me. <laughs> hopefully you're still enjoying the videos. I guess why else would you be watching? And uh, I will do my best to keep you entertained um, on into the indefinite future until we hit a billion subscribers. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how soon that's gonna happen, but one could always wish. Anyway, um, I did actually, I wanted to uh, finish up with a, a bit of real talk on something really quickly. Um, it, it was sort of spurred because of the, the zombie videos, a couple zombie videos I, I've posted as of late, the ones on Mob of the Dead. Um, some of you may not watch them, no worries, but uh, for the people who have, and I, I know it's always just like a small, a small vocal minority of people um, but in the comments section, uh, there were a lot of comments that, well, A, said, you guys are noobs, I, I, whatever, we are, um, we're not, like, we're not good at the map by any means, so I, I don't care, people can throw that out as much as they want, and it's no big deal, but what, um, what did slightly get to me were the comments that then said, do research about the map before playing it, and, like, I don't know, the thing that bugged me about that was that, to me, part of the fun of actually playing games is figuring things out on my own, I guess, and I would assume that for many of you that's probably not a far-fetched idea. I mean, you probably don't get a puzzle game and then go immediately search how to solve all the puzzles before you've actually played it. And I was just thinking, apply that theory, that idea, not a theory, that to any other game, do research before you play it, apply it to like a portal. If, someone, if someone's doing a portal let's play, 
Um, I understand that many people will have played the game before they've necessarily done their, their let's play. But I guess to me it's like what, what's the fun if they already know if this is supposedly their first time playing through but they already know how to solve all the, all the puzzles? That A takes out the fun for the person who's actually playing, at least in my opinion, and although it may be a little less frustrating for the viewers who've already played the game, at the same time it just, I don't know, it seems like it's not very authentic if you've just, if you already, if you already know everything. Um, I don't know. Why? I, why get it? <laughs> it's, it? I don't know. That's, for me, part of the fun is always actually figuring things out and that sense of accomplishment when, oh, we did this on our own as, a, as opposed to like looking it up in some sort of strategy guide or something. And I, I understand when you get totally stuck at a dead end, uh, plenty of times I've gone and looked something up, but like before actually playing it at all, it just seems to defeat the purpose, I guess. And so. I understand that, especially with the, the zombie maps, when they've already been out for a month on Xbox before I even play it on PC, um, obviously people, there's going to be that frustration when obviously you know exactly what to do, and we don't because we're running around on our first or second time playing the map. Um, but I mean if, yeah, I at the same time it's just for us at least, playing the map and figuring it out on our own. And that's for any other game, um, any other like puzzle game or anything that has puzzles in it is, uh, that's part of the fun. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, yeah, you know, once in a while I'll do some, some real talk, no big deal. So I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, thanks again so much for, uh, for all the support and the four million and stuff. It's pretty freaking, pretty freaking amazing. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching guys and, uh, I'll see you next time.